Hi, City Manager David Lerner here with Things to Know, What's Happening in El Dorado. Well, today I'm filming from a very unique location. I'm actually in City Hall in the Commission Chambers, but I'm in a little bit different location. I'm in the recording studio, if you will, for our Commission meetings. So as you can see here, we have all of the TVs and equipment necessary to film and record the Commission meetings and the proceedings so that folks at home can watch the City Commission deliberate the business of the community. So I thought I'd tape it in here so you can kind of see a little bit of the backroom activity. Well, not activity, but some of the backroom operation that goes into producing the City Commission meetings. I don't really know how to operate any of this stuff, so I'm not going to even touch it. But you kind of get the sense of what, uh, what all it takes to operate the uh, filming operation for the City Commission room. Lots of TVs, lots of technology, uh, but we do that just so we can provide the community with an opportunity to watch the Commission take action from the comfort of their own home. You can even watch it on our YouTube channel and on our City website uh, so that you can stay up to date on all of the things that the City Commission discusses. Speaking of the City Commission, if you're interested in finding out what they're going to be talking about on any future meetings, make sure you go to the City's website and you can download all of their agenda packets which contain all the materials needed to understand what the agenda items are as well as the minutes from the prior meeting. You can also find links to our YouTube page so that you can watch all of their deliberations and that'll allow you as a citizen to stay informed on all of the things the City Commission is talking about. So some of the things that are happening in El Dorado this upcoming week, next week on Tuesday at 5.30, right here at City Hall, you can come down and participate in a special meeting to talk about this year's festival. You'll recall last year we had a great 150th celebration, and this year we'd like to get your feedback and input to help us plan this year's special festival. Now, this festival won't necessarily be to celebrate the city's birthday or anything, but it will be a great community opportunity, great community festival. Uh, and so we'd really like to get your input and feedback to help us figure out what exactly we will include in the festival. So again, come down to City Hall at 5.30 on February 22nd to provide your input on this great opportunity. And if you participate, you'll also get a little bit of a heads up on what the festival will be called and kind of the theme that will be behind it. So come down if you're interested and we look forward to getting your great ideas. The Parks and Recreation Department has a couple of fun activities that you might want to keep your eye out for and probably even think about signing up for. We have the Mother-Son Bowling event coming up on March 12th. This will be held at the El Dorado Bowling Alley, and if you're interested in signing up, I would encourage you to do so as soon as you can because spots are limited, and last I checked, we're getting close to capacity. This is a $5 event, and it provides an opportunity for mothers and sons to bond at the bowling alley. Great opportunity. Price includes pizza, two hours of bowling, and shoe rental. So. If you haven't bowled or if you like bowling or if you just want to spend time with your mom sons or if you want to spend time with your son's moms get on down to City Hall or go to our website to sign up for this great event we have every year again that'll be March 12th five dollars get you in two hours of bowling great fun opportunity it's also the time to sign up for baseball softball t-ball and soccer so all of our spring sports are ready to go for signups so again come down to City Hall or go to our website to sign up by April 15th to get your son or daughter on one of our great recreation teams. The Elderly Police Department wants me to communicate the fact that people need to take just an extra two seconds and lock their door when they leave their vehicle. We've had a slew of stolen vehicles recently and the best way to prevent theft is two things. Number one, take your keys out of the car and lock the door and secondly, don't leave valuables like your cell phone, your purse, computers, or other things that are attractive to theft in your vehicle. So make sure you keep your vehicle clean. And then secondly, when you leave, take your keys and lock the car. Very simple, but those two things allow um, or help prevent rather auto thefts. We've had, a, again, a slew of vehicles being stolen most of these have been, uh, the vehicles have been returned, luckily, but it could be prevented by just taking a couple extra seconds 
and uh, exercising that caution. A lot of people will leave their car unlocked and some of them may even leave the keys in the car and this it makes it very easy for criminals to do their thing. So again, take your keys out of the car, lock the door, and if you have any valuables inside, make sure you take those with you. Well, by the time you all see this, there might be uh, several inches of snow on the ground. Um, so hopefully, if that's the case, if you need to get out, you get out and you do it safely. Drive a little slower and take your time. We don't need anyone falling and getting hurt or being in an accident. Hopefully the temperature will get a little warmer and the snow will melt quickly and we'll get to spring soon. In the meantime, stay safe, have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week on Things to Know, What's Happening in El Dorado. Thank you.